Okay, so there are two ways to grow a business. Number one is to get more customers. The second is to make your customers worth more. And it's really that simple. And those are the two easiest ways that you can grow your business. And it doesn't matter what you do, what you sell or what service it is that you provide. It's those two things that are gonna make it happen. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first one is you can raise your prices. And the great thing about this is you can sell the exact same thing or provide the exact same service and just charge more than you are right now and make more money. And I know that sounds simple and it is, but it's also something that a lot of people don't do. And so getting your pricing right and then pushing price is a way of making more money. The second way to do this is to decrease cost. Basically, you are decreasing the amount of money it costs you to perform the service. So you might be thinking, hey, I've got set costs. How do you do this in a business that has fixed costs like gas, equipment, chemicals, detergents, all the things that you use on a daily basis? These are all real costs. And I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to tell you that you're going to be able to negotiate pricing on bleach with your local supplier or your gas prices with the guy at the gas station. But one way that we can reduce costs in this type of business is becoming more efficient, getting better at what we do, getting faster at what we do, performing at a higher level than we are right now, which allows us to get in and out quicker. And if you're an owner operator, your time is really, really valuable. So another way to reduce cost is to get some of your time back. And how do you do that? You outsource those tasks that are eating away at your time. Time that you could be spending either working and making money or becoming more efficient, which makes you more money. And easy ways to do that are by automation, by implementing systems and software in your business that are going to save you time. And obviously, you know, I'm going to mention Quote IQ because we built Quote IQ specifically for this purpose to help small businesses manage every aspect of their business from the daily tasks like sending estimates, invoices, getting paid online to self quoting with Instaquote and even allowing customers to schedule themselves. And then, of course, all of the follow-up, the email automation that you can implement. Every estimate you send has emails behind it. Every job that's scheduled has emails behind it. Every invoice has reminders and all kinds of great marketing behind it. Set it up once, put it into motion, never think about it again. And not only are you going to make a lot more money, you're going to save a bunch of time and your business is going to grow as a result. Okay, so number one, price. Number two, get more efficient. Number three is getting them to buy more frequently. And before we get into the next few steps, I do want to mention that if you guys want to learn how we land high dollar commercial jobs like apartment communities, parking garages, hospitals, government contracts, as well as the best residential customers, check out Local Dom 2, the 100K Blueprint. This is the most in-depth market course where we teach something that we have never taught before, our four-phase BOA system that generates massive lead flow and monster jobs so you can dominate your market. This will be available in January, so there is a link in the description if you want to learn more. Okay, so the next three categories, they are all different, but they are also pretty similar, and that is cross-selling, upselling, and downselling. And I'm going to give you examples of each of these. So cross-selling, for an example, in a pressure washing business involves basically you're offering additional services to customers who have already hired you to do something. Something. So an example of this would be somebody hires you to clean their driveway and the cross selling opportunity is to offer to clean their house, the deck, anything else, since you're already there to clean the driveway. This would also be a great time to offer a package deal and mention any discounts or cost savings that the customer would receive by bundling these services together. And I also understand that a lot of people get confused about upselling and cross selling. So just to clarify, I'm going to give you an example that everybody knows. Cross selling is like when you go to McDonald's and they ask you if you want fries and a drink with your burger. They they're adding something additional to your purchase that goes with it. So basically selling a different thing to the same customer. I said there were six ways to beat your competition. Price, increase your efficiency to reduce costs, increase purchase frequency, and cross-selling. Next is number five, and that is upselling. And this is different from cross-selling. Upselling is when you sell more of what they have already bought. And I'm going to give you an example of how it relates to a service business in a second. But if we're using the McDonald's examples, it's like when they ask if you want to supersize your drink or fries or burger. Upselling for a pressure washing business is essentially offering the customer additional services or maybe premium options that enhance the value of what you're already doing for them. So in this example, say a customer, uh, they are getting their house and their driveway washed. Your upselling opportunity is to offer a premium service upgrade. Maybe it's something like a mildew preventative treatment. Maybe it's something like sealing the concrete. Maybe it's something like a high volume window rinse or possibly an exterior window cleaning with a water fed pole. These are all opportunities to upsell. And one of the most surprising things is that if you're dealing with the right customer base, 
they are going to understand the value you're providing and they're going to want more. They always are going to want more. And this is when you need to start thinking about the long-term picture and the lifetime value of the customer and understand and apply the Pareto principle, which is more commonly known as the 80-20 rule. And so in the context of our business, it means that a small percentage of your customers, typically around 20%, are responsible for generating the majority, uh, about 80% of your business's revenue or referrals or other valuable outcomes of that interaction with that customer. So if you think about it, if you can target that 20% and get them to pay you more, you're adding a significant amount of revenue to the bottom line really, really easily. Okay, so increase the price, decrease the cost of goods by getting more efficient, get people to buy more times, sell them additional services, and then sell them more of the same services, which brings us to number six, and that is the downsell. And I left it for last because it's absolutely one of my least favorites, but it's something that's very important because while you're probably not gonna make as much as you would like to make, you're fostering that relationship, you're building that trust, and you're getting that customer into your sales funnel, which is a good thing because you can continue to market to them. They're going to be able to move up to bigger services and upsells, cross-sells, and everything that we've already talked about. And if we want to put it in the context of McDonald's, say the customer goes in and they want the Big Mac, they want the fry, they want the drink, the extra value meal, or whatever you want to call it. Then they see the price and it's too much. Then they see the value meals, the option for a less expensive meal that is smaller and obviously less expensive, which meets their budgetary concerns. For us, it would be like if a customer calls and they want a price on a house wash, a driveway cleaning, and a patio cleaning. Uh, you give them the price for everything and they push back because of cost. So now you have the opportunity to downsell and offer them a more affordable alternative that focuses maybe on just the house wash to reduce the scope of the cleaning, which reduces the cost, but also allows them to get something done and it gets them in your funnel. And like I said, it fosters and builds that relationship for the long term, which also will increase the lifetime value of the customer. Something also to think about when we're talking about the downsell. And like I said, I said I didn't love it, but in the grand scope of things, Things, it is great to get these people into our funnel because my funnel at least has extensive email marketing. And this is both obviously to promote our product or our service, but also it's a chance for us to educate our customers on various things. It's our chance to stay in front of our customers. And by doing these things, we're showing them that there are other options. We have other services. And so by providing a service, even if it's at a lower cost, the opportunity to increase that over time is significantly increased, especially when you have the follow-ups in place, the automation in place, and good good, solid educational marketing in place. And hopefully you guys got something from the video. And just remember, there is always a way to make a customer more valuable over time. I gave you six examples. Take these, implement them in your business, and good luck.